This painting is called The Laughing Fool. It's from the 1500s. The materials used are an oil painting found on the fourth floor of the museum at Wellesley College. And the artist is Jacob Cornelius Van Ostenen. This relates to our culture currently because people laugh and you know this painting is about a guy laughing. So that's how it relates to our culture today. This painting is called The Portrait of Herod Sirs Amore and the artist is Cecilia Bow. It was found in 1855 and I found it on the fourth floor at the Wellesley College Museum. The cultural relevance is that um, today, you know, kids take a lot of portraits, you know, their parents want pictures from their childhood. So this is how it relates to our culture currently. The painting that I saw at the Wellesley Museum was a man with a book by Ferdinand Boll, who was a painter from the Netherlands. And this painting depicted a scholar. And this was important to the culture at the time in the Netherlands because they wanted to make sure people knew that they were the, cent the center for intelligence, learning, and knowledge. And this painting was made oil on canvas. And it depicts an idolized scholar gentleman and the scholar is recognized by his coat because it's a coat that's affiliated with professors and learning and things like that. And also he has a velvet hat with some gold jewelry and bull enhanced the impression of the scholars. Your addition by depicting him as lost in thought. His eyes are focused above the book and he clutches a shirt and tie. And this connects to our culture today because a lot of what we do in art and in school is based on knowledge and showing that you have knowledge. The second item that I viewed at the Davis Museum at Wellesley College was the inlaid eyes from the mummy case from Egypt and the New Kingdom in the 18th dynasty. The inlaid eyes are created out of stone and they depict two eyes that resemble the eyes of people who used to be a part of the Egyptian society. The eyes symbolize knowledge and looking forward because in Egypt, their main goals were to look forward to the afterlife. So the first painting that I found at the uh, Davis Museum in Wellesley is the uh, study for the triumph of David by Luca Giordano. Uh, who lived in Naples, Italy from 1632 to 1705. Um, basically, this painting is it's an oil on canvas and is a picture of um, the young Jewish shepherd of da David's triumphal uh, slang against Goliath and uh, with a stone he released from a slingshot. Um, this painting displays a... Uh, a head brandished atop of David's sword. Uh, Giordano was famously called Luca for Presto due to the velocity which he executed his pictures, and only 2,000 of them are alive today. Um, this painting shows that there seems to be rapid uh, brush strokes as well as a small scale uh, of this picture that suggests it served as a uh, compositional sketch. Um, this a uh, painting can kind of relate to uh, our culture in today um, because it's pretty much shows it can it can relate to athletes in some way uh, because it's pretty much shows him celebrating his victory over a win. And uh, we see a lot of those pictures in um, sports today and uh, a lot of famous battles as well in war. So that's kind of how this painting uh, relates to today's culture. The second picture that I saw is the um, Female Saints, which was uh, drawn by Nicola Malinconico. And uh, he also lived in Naples, Italy from 1663 to 1727. Uh, this picture is of uh, three women, um, one of which is um, their three saints. And uh, one of them is holding a knife to another one of the women in the picture right before the uh, removal of her breasts. 
And um, the third figure is the only one without a halo in the picture and uh, seems to be holding a patron as well. Um, uh, this picture can somehow relate to today's culture um, because it kind of it can kind of relate to plastic surgery in some, some type of way. Also, um, uh, a lot of sacrificing that we see done in today's religion and whatnot, which seems to be uh, why the woman is having the breasts removed from her body in this picture. The first item that I found at the Davis Museum at Wellesley College was found on the fourth floor, titled Judith with the Head of Holofernes, painted by Giorgio Vasari in the late 16th century. This painting was made of oil on panel, and today it holds religious value. My second item was also found on the fourth floor and painted by Giorgio Vasari. The title of this piece was Allegory of Patience as a Christian, painted in 1550, made of oil on panel. Today it holds religious value as well.